Welcome back to EDU in 90. Today we'll be focusing on Google Translate, a free product that's available on the web and on iOS and Android. That's right. We'll take a look at how educators all over the world are using Google Translate to connect with parents and guardians, meet the needs of all students, and more. Let's take a look. Google Translate currently supports over 100 languages, with more being added all the time. From Japanese to Ukrainian to French and many others in between, Translate is a versatile tool for the classroom. Let's start with a favorite use case with many educators, quick text translations. On the web, copy and paste or type the text to be translated. Then, by clicking into the box on the right and choosing your target language, Translate will show you your text in the new language. From there, you can click the speaker to listen to the translated text or copy it for use in a new document. We've heard from educators that this can be helpful for quick translations during classroom discussions, with new vocabulary, and for improved communication with guardians and community members. Voice typing is another great way to put Google Translate to work in the classroom. With voice typing in Docs and the free Google Translate Chrome extension, students are able to complete assignments in any language, and teachers are able to review and respond in the language of their choice. For example, the student can speak or type something like, Hola, que tal? The educator can then use the Google Translate Chrome extension to translate the student input by clicking the icon and selecting to translate the page. At Colegio Magno, a school in Sao Paulo, teachers and students use Google Translate to connect students with cultures around the world. By using English books and Google Voice Translate, Students are able to read facts in English about many cultures and listen to the words translated back in their native language. Teachers at Colegio Magno also encourage students to leverage Google Translate outside of the classroom and use the voice translation functionality to test their language in their daily lives and activities. Sean, an eighth grade teacher from Chicago, leverages the Translate Chrome extension to connect with guardians and share student news. With the Chrome extension, teachers can easily highlight text and quickly see a translated version. When a parent or family member reaches out in another language, the teacher can read the email, highlight the text, and get a translation right away. Teachers can also reverse translate and reply. This helps ensure that parents and guardians are updated on student progress and news, no matter what the primary language for communication is. Today, we've seen a few ways that educators are using Google Translate in their classrooms. If you also make use of this tool, we would love to hear how. Let us know in the comments below. And stay tuned for more episodes of EDU in 90. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel. Familiar with Blogger, but not sure how it might be used in a school setting? Check out our last episode to hear about innovative ways that it's being used by educators like you.